unit rate with complex fractions. So we're first going to discuss some terms here that will be important. And the first is going to be rate. Um, and you should be familiar with rate, but if not, remember rate is a comparison of two quantities that have different units. So it could be like miles per hour, uh, miles an hour, two different units. And so that's why we would call that a rate when we compare um, quantities with different units. Um, secondly here, unit rate. So this is more specific. Unit rate is when we get a rate with a denominator of 1. So uh, think of a situation if if someone drove 60 miles in 2 hours, how many miles did they drive per hour? Well, per hour they drove 30 miles. So right here, because we have a denominator of 1, I just found the unit rate. Unit rate with the denominator of 1. We get that ratio. The first part is the rate. Uh, this is the rate. And then when we um, reduce that down and figure out what the unit rate is, we have a denominator of 1. The third term and the final term is a complex fraction. A complex fraction is a fraction that actually has a fraction in its numerator, denominator, or both places. So, kind of like a fraction within a fraction. You would have, um, like if we had one half of a third. So I actually have a fraction here, but I have a fraction in the numerator. Another example could be one fourth. You could have both a fraction there and a fraction there. Or we could have a fraction in just the denominator, um, but basically a complex fraction. So you have an initial fraction, but then your numerator, denominator, or both could have a fraction within. Okay, so let's talk about how we can now solve for unit rates with complex fractions. We're going to do it in the um, kind of the frame of a word problem here. So Gwen mows one six acre in one fourth hours. How many acres does Gwen mow per hour? So um, we first write down our rate. We know that Gwen mows one sixth of an acre in one fourth of an hour. And we want to figure out the unit rate to this. So the unit rate is per hour. For one hour, how many would she mow? So we can do a couple things here. You can always divide. You can always. So you can always divide the numerator by the denominator. That's always something you can do. But one of the things we could do here is actually find a relationship between our two denominators, one-fourth and one. So how does one-fourth get to one? Well, essentially, if we multiplied one-fourth times four, we could get to one. So then we could take one-sixth, multiply it by one-fourth, and we could, uh, I'm sorry, one-fourth, multiply it by four over one, and get our answer. So when we did that, we get four-sixths, which would simplify down to two-thirds as an answer right there. Um, if I divided it out, remember the other way to do that would be to take one-sixth and divide by one-fourth. And remember, we do keep change flip. So... You would keep this fraction, change this to multiplication, and then flip this and get a reciprocal. That turns this into one-sixth times, and we change, four over one, which will get you the same answer. We multiply across, we get one times four is four. Six times one is six, and it simplifies to two-thirds. So... Um, kind of ran out of space at the bottom there, but you can find a relationship. If not, divide the numerator by the denominator, and we just got our unit rate with complex fractions. The answer would be two-thirds here. Let's try another one. Justice uses three ounces of pasta to make three-fourths of a serving of pasta. How many ounces of pasta are there per serving? So first we write down our rate. She uses three ounces right here to make three-fourths of a serving. So three ounces makes only three fourths of a serving. It does not make a full serving. They want to know, hey, how many would you need to make a full serving? So I can check and see if I find a relationship here, but it's not easy. That's not an easy relationship for us to figure out. So what can I always do? I can always divide the top number, the numerator right here, by the denominator. So I can say, what is three divided by? three 
for us. And if we remember whole number, we can put it over 1. I can rewrite this as 3 fourths. Now remember when we multiply, I'm sorry, divide, we have our keep, change, flip. So I'm going to rewrite this as 3 over 1 times, change the multiplication, and then reciprocal or flip, 4 thirds. And when you multiply across, 3 times 4 is 12. 1 times 3 is 3. You get 12 thirds, improper fraction, but we can simple the, simplify this down to 4 over 1. Uh, 3 goes into 12 4 times and into itself once, and 4 over 1 would equal 4 right here. So, um, Justice uses 3 ounces of pasta. How many would she do right there for a whole serving? And, and actually, mentally, we could put this together, of course, but always remembering that you can divide the numerator by the denominator to get that answer. Try this one on your own right here. Um, find a unit rate. Julio walks three and a half miles in one and one fourth hours. Find the unit rate. Pause the video real quick. Try it on your own, then unpause it. See how you did and uh, see how well you're understanding finding the unit rate with complex fractions. Go ahead. So we know Julio walks um, three and a half miles right here in one and one fourth hours. So what's the unit rate? How much does he, how many miles per hour does he walk? I would first turn these into improper fractions. So that's going to be right here. That's where we multiply denominator by the whole number. Two times three is six plus one is seven halves. And we're going to put that over this improper fraction, which is 4, 5, fourths. So the best thing to do here now is go ahead and divide. We can say what is 7 halves divided by 5 fourths. And because we're dividing fractions, we're always going to remember our keep, change, flip, keep 7 and a half change to multiplication, reciprocal is 4 fifths, I should get 28, 7 times 4 is 28, over 10, and this actually simplifies down to, or I can get into a mixed number, um, and when you do that, remember, you just divide the, t the numerator, the top number, by the denominator, 10 goes into 28 twice, you get 20, 8 is the remainder, so I'd have 2, and 8 tenths, and the fraction 8 tenths actually simplifies to 4 fifths. 2 goes into 8 4 times and goes into 10 5 times. So our final answer would be 2 and 4 fifths miles per hour. Julio walks 2 and 4 fifths miles per hour.